Hello everyone, I'm James Leichter, president of Aptora. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create, edit, and delete a flat rate pricing book. When you log into the software, you might log into this page or another page, depending on your preference. To get to the flat rate book list, we're going to click maintenance, flat rate price books. This is a list of your flat rate books. If you remember the day when flat rate books were printed and they were in binders, each one of those books is in this list. Your company could have one large flat rate book for all the types of work that you do. If you serve multiple trades, you could have one book. Typically, the way we organize a flat rate book is we have HVAC demand service, HVAC installation and replacement. We have an electrical book, we have a plumbing book, and we have a refrigeration book, or we would add the refrigeration to the HVAC book, call it HVACR. Each one of those books is in this list. If you want to create a new book, then you will click the Add New Book button and give it a name. I'll just call it uh, Tester and click Update. I could have added an image, a description to that book. If you ever want to to inactivate a book, you don't want to delete it, but you want to hide the book, then you can come back here and uncheck the is active. There is also an is primary checkbox that is used for various things in the Flat Rate Plus online app. But what that basically does is it tells the software, this is my primary book, the book I use the most. So make it easy to get to, keep it at the top of the list, that type of thing. Not vital that you check that box. Task count, let me make this column a little wider so you can see that column task count. We have zero. We have no tasks. If you're new to flat rating, then let me just say this quickly. A flat rate book is a container of your flat rate tasks. So a task could be replace a half horse residential fan motor in an air handler or a furnace. That's a task. That would live in a flat rate book. In our system, a task can appear in one or more books. And that makes it nice because you build a task once and you can put it in multiple books, there will be times where you have something fairly generic like a breaker replacement and you might want it in your plumbing book for electric water heaters, the electrical book, the HVAC book. Tasks, by the way, are made up of one or more items. So for example, you could have a motor, capacitor, and a mounting kit, three items, to make up a task. You would also have labor within that task. You don't have to. You could have labor only. You could have no labor. In our system, labor is an item like it is in an accounting software program. So you would create a labor item. Maybe you sell labor by the minute. You'd have a quantity of 60 for say $400. You would add that item, that labor item to the task. The task would be added to the book. Here we have no tasks in the book. We just created the book from scratch. If you want to edit these properties, click the edit button, the little blue pencil right here. That way you can easily change the description or the book name, uh, the image. Well, not the image here. I'll get to that in a moment. If you want to change that image, click the image button and that'll bring up a dialogue that allows you to change the image. A flat rate book can only have one image, but this image is used to represent the entire book. Each task category can have its own image. Each task can have its own image, one or more images, and the items within a task can all have their own images. So you'll have plenty of opportunity to to have lots of images later, but one image per flat rate book. If you want to delete a flat rate book, it's simple, just hit the delete button. Now you're going to be asked, are you sure you want to delete this book? You might want to inactivate a book. In my case, I certainly want to delete it because I just created it to show you how to do it. There is an option here that I want to cover. Would you also like to delete all of the tasks, items associated with only this book? If you check that box, the software will get rid of all of those records, items, tasks, categories, etc., that appear only in this book. If any of those are used in any other book, active or not active, they will remain untouched. Be careful with this option. You might want to get rid of the book title, but you might not want to get rid of the tasks that are within it. I'm going to say yes, and that is gone. If you have a lot of flat 
rate books, you could search for them up here. Chances are you don't have that many flat rate books. One thing I'll mention that's covered in other videos is you have the ability up here to import your free default books. You can purchase professionally made, ready to go books. You can export these books. You also have book settings, PDF export. What that does is it creates a PDF version of this flat rate book, just like the old flat rate plus desktop software. If you have used that program, we were famous for our six columns, up to six columns of pricing. You can do the same thing in this system. It will create a PDF that looks just like flat rate plus the desktop program that we sold thousands and thousands of copies of since 1996. I think it was the most popular flat rate pricing system ever, I think. I I couldn't prove it. Uh, nobody keeps track of that, but very popular. You can do your export. You can also copy a book. You will have to give it a unique name, but you can copy an entire book and all of its contents. It won't duplicate any of the items or the tasks. It just simply makes a copy of the entire book. And that way you can start with a book that's already made. You might find it easier than starting from scratch. Book settings, I'd like to cover that in another video. That that is about that all is about there is to all show, there is you, to show on you on creating, creating a flat rate, a flat rate book. book. I hope you found this I hope helpful. You found this helpful. Check, out our, other Check out our other videos. Thank you. Thank you.